What's up people from the tube? Welcome back to another Patch of Things. So today, as I said in the past, in one of the videos that I did in the past, I was going to do a series of unboxing of feeders, frozen feeders for my for my snakes. And today I'm gonna be doing Rodents Pro unboxing. Let's get started. So this time around, I kind of waste the opportunity due to the fact of the size of the box and the chipping, but I only needed to order rats for my boas. So I just ordered a pack of 20 rats. So pretty much the box is it's kind of empty. So kind of lost some money there on the, on the chipping. So they put staples on the box. So I guess that it's cool because you know that your things are going to be flying around, but it's kind of a and we're trying to get them out, so. I need to grab that before the dogs get to it. Okay. We've got that. So, yeah. we got tons of staples everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna show you there comes the more staples. So insulation. So everything is kind of like taped together. Insulation so taped this is nice that it's fully sealed in the package this little Little fiber actually will burn and eat the hand. So, as you can see, it's just kind of like a burrito. This came in just at the same time that I left to go to work. So I didn't have time to do the unboxing or anything. So he's been sitting there in the garage. And these things are rock solid. I gotta say, these rats are bigger than laying laps. That is just visually, you can already tell. Not by much, but they're bigger. Let's see here. So if you don't wanna see a frozen, Dead feeder. You probably want to stop the video now. So and they're they're that bigger than Lenny Laps. Not by much, so they all seems to be fairly fairly the same size. Look good, they look clean. As I mentioned. One of my pet peeves when it comes to frozen feeders is having to see poop. And this bag actually looks really clean. When we open, when did we did when I did the unboxing of Lightning Labs, I did enjoy their bags. They're resealable bags and there's that type of um, kind of like a aluminum foil type of thing, paper. Those, I do enjoy those bags. Uh, it maintains the, the temperature really nice. They don't stick together. These, for what I'm seeing, they seem to not be all stuck together, which I like that. Um, the bag doesn't seem to be flimsy, but it's just Ziploc style bag. But as for the price, they're really similar. I think that Rodent Pro is a little cheaper. Um, now, what I will suggest, if you're gonna order from Rodent Pro, uh, because the flat rate that you're gonna get in the box, done in my case as i said i only need a rat and my supplier unfortunately the regular supplier that i use which is a brick and mortar store 
Um, I have very much luck. Every time that I seem to go there, they're out of pretty much everything. So it, it has become unreliable at this point. So I need to find different sources. So that's why I'm doing these unboxings and see, see what's going to work or not. But yeah, they're nice. They look solid. They're really cool. Um, the size is about right. It's just a tiny bit bigger than what you get from from Lainey Labs, but really good looking rats. Uh, they're clean. And actually, I'm gonna take two of these guys right now because I gotta feed. I gotta feed the monsters tonight. So I'm gonna get that that taken care of. As for the packaging, the packaging is solid. Um, the insulation. I wish the insulation came in a plastic or if you're gonna put tape on it um, that the plastic that the insulation is is a little bit stronger due to the fact that that fiber actually made your hands itch uh, but other than that they're solid uh, no complaints here uh, the only thing that I have an issue and that might not be running pro it might be actually FedEx is I got an email notification with a tra the tracking number so I could check uh, the progress of the chipping and for the life of me, I could see anything, any information was revealed any of the times that I check the, the tracking number. Uh, I do believe it was uh, three days, so probably the day that it was printed, uh, the package wasn't chipped out yet, but, it, but the, the tracking number was already assigned. And then I'm guessing that it was maybe an overnight. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, Rodin Pro, uh, nothing to complain, uh, the, the solid shipping, uh, the staples are kind of annoying, but hey, if it keeps the product uh, delivered safely and in the right temperature, put as many staples as you want, so there you have it, if you like the video, you know what you gotta do, like and subscribe, if you haven't done so yet, click the notification bell so you know that I've uploaded a new video, and I will see you in the next one. Find your own.